There once was a boy named Jack who lived alone with his mother. Jack's father had died when Jack was very young, and he and his mother had to get by selling their meager crops. One day they had no money left to buy food, so the mother asked Jack to go to town and sell Buttercup, their beloved cow. Jack and Buttercup started off for the nearby town. They had not gone far when they met a tall, strange-looking man by the roadside. And when the man asked Jack where he was going, Jack told him that he had to sell Buttercup. The man offered him a magic bean in exchange for the cow. This excited Jack. A magic bean! Without a second thought. He gave Buttercup to the man and took the bean. Jack was proud to have a magic bean. He returned home excitedly. And told his mother the wonderful deal that he had made. His mother was stunned and disappointed by her son's foolishness. She couldn't believe that Jack had given away the family's last possession in exchange for a worthless bean. Jack's mother was very angry. She snatched the bean from Jack's hand and threw it out of the window and sent him off to bed. Because of Jack's foolishness, they would both be hungry that night. The next morning, when Jack woke up, he was surprised to find that a beanstalk had grown outside his window. It was enormous and thick, and high enough to tear through the clouds and touch the sky. He wondered how high the beanstalk went. He decided to climb up and find out. Holding the beanstalk firmly, Jack began climbing higher and higher. And when he looked down, he saw that he was above the clouds. He could see the entire village below, and he still wasn't at the. He kept climbing, and soon something unusual caught his eye. At the top of the beanstalk, there was a castle floating in the sky. Jack climbed up to the castle. There was a large gate guarding the front, and as soon as he neared it, the gate opened. A giant washerwoman greeted him with a broad smile, and in a gentle, friendly manner, she asked Jack if he would come inside for some tea and cookies. However, she warned Jack that they must be careful that her master did not see him, or her master would eat him up. Jack was very hungry and decided to accept her invitation.
Jack and the washerwoman had a lovely tea, and he was grateful for the food since he'd not eaten the night before. Suddenly, the castle floor shook violently. The kind washer lady told Jack to hide behind the fireplace, for her master, the dangerous giant, had returned. Quickly, Jack did as he was told, and peeked around the corner to see an ugly, deformed giant enter the room. The giant sniffed the air suspiciously and asked the woman if there was a boy in the castle. The woman nervously replied that there was no one present in the castle except them. The giant then ordered her to bring him his gold. The washerwoman brought the gold and placed it before the giant. He counted it and began to feel sleep. Quite satisfied with his treasure, he fell asleep, and Jack crept up to the bag of coins, grabbed it, and ran away from the castle. Jack didn't stop for a second to look back until he had climbed down the beanstalk and was home. Jack placed the coins before his mother and jumped for joy. His mother was completely shocked as Jack recounted his fantastic tale. Weeks passed, and the stolen gold kept them fed and clothed. But soon enough, the gold was gone, and Jack decided to climb the beanstalk once again. Jack carefully entered the castle and found the giant and the washerwoman in the kitchen once more. The giant reared his head and sniffed. I smell the blood of a young one, and be he alive or be he dead, I will eat him with my bread. The giant looked everywhere for Jack, who had hidden himself away. Frustrated, the giant sat down at his table. Bring me my hen now," he commanded in a gruff voice. The washerwoman did as she was told and placed the hen on the table. It gave a cluck, and to Jack's surprise, laid a golden egg. Soon, the giant fell fast asleep, and Jack wasted no time climbing down the beanstalk with the hen in his arms. His mother was astounded to see a hen that laid golden eggs. They would never need for gold again. However, Jack was a curious boy and went up the beanstalk once more. Inside the castle, Jack heard the giant shout, "Bring me my magic harp!" The washerwoman brought the giant a golden harp, and this harp could also speak. It told the giant of the happenings of the world below, and soon its soothing voice put the giant to sleep. Quick as a bunny, Jack ran off with the harp. As soon as Jack caught hold of it, the magic harp began to yell, "Master, master, he is taking me away!" It shouted, waking up the giant. He saw Jack running away with his magic harp.
In a fit of rage, the giant grabbed his club and did his best to hit Jack. But Jack was too fast. He scurried down the beanstalk, and the furious giant gnashed his teeth as he chased after him. Jack climbed down the beanstalk as fast as he could, but the giant was close at his heels. Jack reached the ground safely, heaved a sigh of relief, and then called for his mother to bring the axe. His mother brought him the axe. Jack knew that he had to cut down the beanstalk before the giant reached the ground, or the giant would eat him, his mother, and the entire town. No sooner did Jack chop through the beanstalk than the vicious giant came tumbling down. When he landed, the ground shook with a thunderous boom. Jack and his mother were thrown up into the air like bouncing balls. As for the giant, his fall had made a deep, meteor-like crater in the ground. His body was so heavy that it began to sink, and the earth closed over him. The giant was never to be seen again. Jack and his mother were safe. They had a hen that laid golden eggs and a harp that could tell them the secrets of the universe. They could have anything they wanted, but what they were happiest with was each other. <laughs>